I'm Miriam Joy and welcome to my studio. Today we're working on our twice melted wax St. Patty's Day necklace and this is just a real fun festive. It gives you that little bit of green that you need to wear on St. Patrick's Day and we're going to show you how we make that. And I am going to start with our metal blank pendants and we do carry those at MiriamJoy.com. They're nice and deep. And I also carry the little melting pots. And we're going to use Crayola crayons. And I'm going to use yellow, green, and green. Now yellow, green happens to be about the thinnest color of them all. And we'll talk about that in a minute here. guy in there to melt and green on um, the one I did showed I used a metallic color on the outside and just green on the inside and I do make sure that they are Crayola crayons and I'm putting these right into the well and that melts them and we're using glass eyedroppers and it is important that they're glass and not plastic and we do have all of these items that you see on this tray at our website at MiriamJoy.com we're going to be using our embossing gun or heat tool to warm up our uh, metal pendant and our wax and I'm also working on a little wood piece and that is because the pendant piece comes down just a little bit lower than the back of plate does so if I stick it over the edge it lays flat otherwise it does not and I try and put this directly under my heat gun and I've got it about a foot off I've got it on a a shepherd's hook that I picked up from any of the home stores or a craft store and I like it because it gives me the distance out and I'm also working on a tray with a paper towel under it so I don't get any wax anywhere else first thing I'm going to do is heat this up just a little bit and you can pull it up and warm it up because there is no wax in it and I'm going to leave my embossing gun on now you don't want it moving around and I'm going to fill my um, pin it up with the yellow green and we're leaving that on so it helps melt the wax and keep it melted as we're working now you can see that's just melting and going around. I'm actually using less wax now than I used to be when I first started doing these pennants. We just need the bottom fill. We don't need to fill the whole thing up. It takes up a lot more wax that way and there isn't a real reason for it. So we're just going to keep that like that as we work. Now we've got that warming. Now I'm going to come in with my green color and we're going to try and do a clover here and we're going to put in our second one and just just enough to squeeze it out till you get it as big as you want it and then our third one on the other side I'm going to come in with my wax tool and I'm going to warm it up first because you don't use a cold tool with warm wax and we're just going to pull those around a little bit and give it just a little bit of a stem we can manipulate it a little bit now if you didn't like it you can redo that but there's a lot of things that you can do to fill in an area that you didn't quite like this area is a little bit more open here so I used some micro balls and you also could use just a tad of glitter just to kind of even that out. Give it that extra little shine there. I'm going to turn that off for a second. So those micro balls are starting to get real warm where they're at. But you kind of see how we're getting that little clover. Now, when I try to do the yellow green in the middle, it is a lot thinner wax than the other colors and when you stop it looks good it kind of just shrinks back up so that you don't really want to do it that way you can use the green in the middle and the like we did here the yellow green on the outside and that's just fine there's no problem with that so just kind of work with the wax if one's not working the way you want it to it may be the wax itself because they are 
thinner and thicker than themselves. Once that's all the way cool, I'm going to go ahead and cover it. And I've been using my 3D Crystal Lacquer a lot more than my Dimensional Magic. The Dimensional Magic, when you use a lot of it, has kind of a cloudy look to it. So when I do the 3D Lacquer, I don't get that quite as cloudy look. I'm going to fill this all the way up to the top now. And I actually let it dry and did another layer on top of that as long as it's up above this bevel. Because the first layer kind of dried and kind of went down again. And then I did my second layer till it was all the way on the top. So so don't be afraid two nice thick layers is going to keep that wax in place keep it from melting and keep it from popping out of the pendant and that is something that I'm doing a little bit differently than I was when I first started making the pendants but that is how we do our little St. Patrick's Day clover necklace Classic. I hope you enjoyed our St. Patrick's Day clover necklace pendant. We've got the pendants, the necklace, we even have the wood slices as well as a 3D crystal lacquer. So come on over, check all of those out on our website at miriamjoy.com. Come on over to our Facebook page at Miriam Joy's Waxy Crafty Corner where we're putting up these projects when we get them done as well as the videos. Thank you for joining us today. God bless. Thank you.